Hi everybody, uh, as I'm using the um, Oracle Vision Deck and this is for Capricorn and I'm also going to use the Cat Deck, the Cat Oracle Deck. Okay, so there we go. And um, uh, I'm trying to make a new reading. So we've got the attitude cards. There's four in this deck. So I'm going to shake them and I'm going to put them down. One for Monday, one for midweek, one for Friday and one for the weekend. Now I've got the cat deck here and there's 15 cards there. So I will be shaking them and see what comes out. Okay. And take that one, that one, that one, that one. And I'll put that one there. And then I also will put not got enough room. I'll also put a tar tarot card on it. This is like a clarification. It's just an, a reading that I'm thinking of myself. I've never done a reading this way. See what comes out. There's also the season cards in the fantasy cat deck, uh, oracle deck, but I'm not using seasons because I'm not doing it yearly. Okay, and I'm not doing a, f um, <clears throat> and then I will also use an oracle of the fishing deck from Hero Manchetti, and that is this one. Wow, it's exciting! Okay, and that is the. It's getting really dark here and it's Thursday evening. Okay, I think I'm going to switch on the lights so that you can see the beautiful colors on the cards. So hold on my darlings. Okay, if you are new, welcome to the channel. And um, I'm Shah, Cyber Mum, also known as Cyber Mum, because when we go live, we've got Cyber Angels and I'm Cyber Mum. So if you would like to become a cyber angel, then please come into the live sessions, the chat room, the tea room, as it is called. And we have, we don't only do cards, but we have discussions. We support each other emotionally, have a listen ear. So there's also super chat available and super stickers if you want to jump the queue or if you would like to ask a question. If you would like any extensive readings done, then go and have a look at the website. It's up and running now and there's different readings on offer. Below the video, you can find all the information and you can subscribe here and hit the bell, then you'll be notified. And when I go live or when new videos are uploaded. Now I like to play around and I like to dis, uh, discover new things and add new things, keep it exciting for myself as well. Um, because sitting here for four days making videos um, can get a little bit tedious and I love to do something new and I invent it. So I've got something new here. I'm doing a new laying. You saw me putting them out in force, but I'm, then I won't have enough room um, for to lay out the cards. So I'm going to pick up the cards. I've put them blind downwards so we don't know anything about it, who's what and what's where. So um, that's what I want to do. And I think it's nice because we've got the beginning of the week, the midweek, the end of the week and the weekend. And I've got a clarification card instead of an angel card. I'm using the Oracle Vision deck, as you can see. Okie dokie. So here we go. You have number 24 and number 24 becomes a six. So you will be in balance. Here you can see a girl standing there. I think it is a girl. No, it is a man, um, but he's looking very sad and he's 
I don't like that glistening. That's why I don't want to do it in the evening because of the light. And butterflies, you can see the butterflies coming out of the cage. So you're no caterpillar anymore. You've got freedom. You can, uh, how do you call it? Throw out your wings, spread your wings. So, and you might have to play a game of chess and maneuver yourself into a position so that you can get on with life and look at the cat. She's looking at the butterflies and she wants to play with the cats. And he's looking a little bit confused or sad, but he's watching the butterfly flying away. I, I think he feels entrapped and he wants to be free like the butterfly. He wants to be free like the butterfly. Letting go, offering a way out, truly loving an other, means letting go of all expectations. It means full acceptance, even celebration of an other's person, person's hood. Have the courage to set it free. If it flies away, it was never truly yours. If it returns of its own free will, then you know for sure it was yours. Such is the old adage regarding a loved one, the truly loved and be loved. Love has to be given and returned freely and unconditionally. This Im image captures that moment of release. Will the butterfly return or leave through the open window? It is a poignant moment, um, an exciting moment. Poignant, very old word, moment, and one of courage for the girl who has released the butterfly. Oh, I thought it was a boy. <laughs> Sorry, but is herself a prisoner. Her scenario is symbolically represented by the chest pieces. The analogic analogy of imprisonment can be Course be applied, of course, be applied to self incarceration, uh, pulling yourself back, creeping into your little shell, okay, and isolating yourself. We are often pris prisoners trapped in a cell of our own making, either by fear, perceptions of duty, or loyalty to causes of people or people whether caring for a loved one or feeling trapped by financial, medical or any other such circumstances, can represent an emotional imprisonment as a real as a barreled window. Wow. So that was this card. She feels entrapped, perhaps by her own fear, Perhaps that she's been put down like others. Perhaps she uh, feels entrapped because she doesn't can't make decisions. She doesn't dare to spread her wings or, and fly away. Okay, I think it's a beautiful art artist, Hiro Manchetti, and I'll put that there. Then on Monday, Monday, I think it was the second. Let me have a look. Yes, Monday the second. We have the attitude card and the attitude card is desiring transformation. Well, don't lock yourself in. Desiring transformation. That is the attitude that you might have on Monday. You would like a new beginning. So I'll put attitude down here. And then we have the feeling and the feeling. I think these cards are so beautiful. Number two. So perhaps you want to get back into balance. Spread your wings and get into nature. So get back into balance. And your card here is... Number two, feeling, open the heart, yes, spread your wings, embrace vulnerability, that's the advice. Open yourself to every, every feeling associated with your situation. Embrace the entire emotional spectrum, the light, the dark and every shade in between. 
Allow an open flow and know you are protected. Emotions can't hurt you, even the scariest and sad, saddest. The darkness defines the light. Darkness encourages the light to shine. Bright, embrace dark and light with equal openness. Res resistance breeds confusion. Represent uh, repression is blockage. Like this card here. Journal for clarity. Walk for inspiration. Allow music to bring tears of melancholy and joy. Forget the mind and focus your own heart without judgment. March to the beat of your own drum. Know you are protected in all areas. Emotions are a way of gaunting life's rhythms and results. Feel emotions without reacting out of them. Those who respond out of emotion are not acting in authenticity. Do not linger in extreme emotional spaces. Our feline friends prefer relaxed states of being and are happy to model this for us. Follow their lead. Ooh, nice. And the tarot card that you have is the Hermits. So relax, go out there. But before you go out there, perhaps it is time to relax and feel your feelings. Listen to the new ideas that are coming in when you're meditating, when you are relaxing or sitting quietly. Get this beautiful attitude, desire to, for transformation. So if you want to transform, you first have to change yourself and accept what is around you and get the balance between light and dark, good and bad. So sit quietly and evaluate the situation. Absolutely awesome. You have the light that will show you the way because it will shine light on your path. Lighten your load when you are relaxing or meditating and make sure that you throw away what is of no use so that you can initiate the change. Awesome. Now we're going to midweek and the attitude for midweek is desire, belonging. You wish to belong with somebody or something or a group. In. Then we have the knowing, the knowing. You know what you want midweek. Look, you want to be the empress most probably. So no, and that is number four. And number four is also stability, productivity, um, trust. That is the action. Have trust that you have done your work when you were relaxing or meditating. Advice. Express yourself in every way. I'm not going to read this one. I will from time to time dig go deeper into the cards, but I will I'm just taking one of the cards. So express yourself. Show yourself off. Be the beacon. Be as beautiful as you want to be, dress the way you want to be, be, think, beauty, go and buy that new dress, do your hair, so that you will be the beacon that you should be, and you've got, to the tarot card, you've got the king, I think it's the king, yes, it's the king of swords, the King of Swords, so that you might attract a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarian, if you're not hooked up yet. He will, he uh, stands for justice, clarity, honesty. He will protect you uh, right from the word go. When an uh, air sign falls in love, they fall in love, hook, line, and sinker, sink, and they will cut straight through to the core. There's no funny business, they are quick, so once they fall in love, then hold on to your hats, because the wind will 
blow it away. That's how fast they are. And he will um, be dashing. And he'll be quick-witted. He'll have humour. And he will do the talking and the walking. Walking and the talking. Okay, then we have Friday. The attitude card, desire balance. Well, that's what you started off with. And you are getting balance. And this card is things are flying around and it's all drawings. But I saw it first of all as money. So perhaps you might want to get um, balance. Balance, a desire for balance financially or with work and home so that you can work and relax. Awesome, beautiful. Then we have number one. Yes, you want to belong. Like the other card said, you want to belong. You know that you do. And this is the feminine sign. Perhaps you want to belong. You, uh, yeah, cuddle. You need a cuddle like the mother figure cuddles the, her child or her cat or her pet. You want to be cuddled. You want to be nurtured. Perhaps that is what it is at the end of the week. And take that new beginning because you've got a new beginning at the end of the week. You want excitement. Have that faith. Take that leap of faith. It's a new beginning as you've got the full. Awesome. Beautiful, beautiful. Perhaps you might want to take that leap of faith with an air sign. Okay. Now, at the weekend, you have desire intimacy. Cuddle. Where did we see belonging? Belonging. Hold on. Belonging. Balance. Here, belonging. So, this week is about getting yourself ready to belong with somebody, not to somebody. So, get yourself in balance. Desire intimacy. Well, the weekend is a nice time to get in intimate with your partner or a new partner. And then we have number seven. Number seven is also a lucky number. Empowering. Empowering. Beautiful, beautiful cats. Look at the cats. It looks like if they are doing telepathy, the electricity between the two are amazing. The action is give yourself. He is giving her, or the cat is giving itself to the lady, and the lady is giving the love, the cuddles to the cats. Woo! Yes. Give yourself. Release your ego. Ego can destroy relationships. It always backfires. Your light uh, is brighter than you realize. You can be that beacon, so shine and grow strong and uplift others, not only yourself. Go to those that you love. Give the world and other people what you wish to receive. Then you will get it back threefold. Look at this. We've got the uh, page of rods. That means that news, you will be receiving news. This could be about a job. This could be about passion, Ooh, belonging, intimacy, right? Give, give yourself, shine, be bright and mingle. You might yet be amazed what is going to happen. Awesome. And remember, don't feel, don't trap yourself in. Don't isolate yourself. Let go. Um, there will be a way out. So get dressed up, smarten up, do your hair and feel free. Like I said, at the right at the beginning, throw out your wings, spread your wings like the butterfly. It's a transformational period this week for you, Capricorn. So come on, work, work towards that new beginning. You have the power to set it free. Go for it, my sweeties. So I hope you have enjoyed this reading. Please like.
I'm sorry, Capricorn, I've got, uh, I told you I had um, uh, a new something. So I'm going to spread out all the cards now. Let's see. And this one, this was the end of the week. This was the beginning, Friday. So, and the attitude cards are just, I'll put this there. And I think I'm going to do it that way. You're the first ones that are experiencing this, okay? And now I'm going to do something that you've never seen me done before. I'm going to, I can do, oh, I thought I'm going to charm read. Read with charms. You can see I've got all the colours of the chakras. I've got the heart, which is pink and green, really green. But in my angel book, it's pink. And then you've got the blue, that's the throat. And you've got the white light that goes through the chakras. This represents the universal light, white. So put yourself in the white light and be protected. Then we've got the purple, that's the third eye. The, uh, the third eye, I'll just keep it to that. I'll keep it very simple for people that don't know Reiki. Then you've got the uh, solar plex, yellow, jovial. And you've got the orange, secretal. And then we've got red, the root chakra. And I've got charms here, like wheels and things like that, angel feather, the star, and I'll just be picking them out. I'll put it there, and I won't be looking at what what is, because that is not what I would like to do. I might eventually get a, a little bag, but I, I want to do it this way. So I'll give you also your angel um, with, with the colour. Um, that's coordinated with the. Right. I have to feel for a ball. Okay. Well, we've got the purple chakra. Now I'm going to. Well, let's see whether it comes. Oh, it's right here. It's with empowerment. Okay. Now let's have a look. We've got the purple chakra, and that is Archangel um, That is Archangel Raziel. That's the third eye. So Raziel. Uh, see whether I could find. So that has to uh, be that you might be sensitively, um, you might be very sensitive um, emotionally, you might uh, get premonitions, uh, you might listen to your intuition more this week, um, you also, um, you might dream a little bit more, your spiritual side of you might be heightened and more emotional. Now on the knowing card, number four, that is stability, that was be beautiful, show yourself, be the beacon, right? So we've got the owl, we've got the owl. So be wise in how you want to be seen. Be wise, because the owl stands for wisdom. Just know and trust the owl knows that he can fly and can spread his wings and he trusts that and he will express himself in such a way with wisdom. So the owl stands for wisdom, flying away, being free, don't imprison yourself. And then we've got the anchor. The anchor is like the Lenamon card, yes, an answer, yes. And um, also the anchor is that you have anchored yourself somewhere um, and you know that that's the place you should be, that it is a safe place to be, okay? 
so you know that you are at a safe place. You can take that leap of faith. For some rather, for some reason or rather, your intuition, your spirituality is saying it's okay. Take that leap of faith. I hope you like this little bit of addition to the readings. I do. I think it's something unique. And take care. Sorry. Um, but I'll be editing this. So please share and like this video. And give us a thumbs up. Together we stand strong. Take care. Bye-bye. See you tonight. Love you.